Hi, Mr. Chris. Uh, today I show you how to using uh, installer 06 Yosemite Chameleon. Uh, it's, uh, this installer works only with uh, the installer from the Mac App Store uh, OS 6 Yosemite 10.10.3. Uh, what you using? Uh, what uh, you uh, you need for uh, using this installer? You need uh, on your application the installer OS 6 Yosemite from the Mac App Store. You need USB drive. Now I I uh, show you today the video with the external drive. Uh, 500 gigabyte is very fast for creation. Uh, the USB drive, the USB uh, installer. <coughs> this installer it's uh, it's on uh, two time is uh, he create the drive and he has the post installation for the Chameleon uh, Air 25 70 uh, that's it guys now you you need download uh, the DMG just open the image and your drag and drop on your application. Me, I have now and I replace installer. Now you need to go here on uh, security. You type your password and you accept the, the, the app from anywhere. That's it. Now you return to application and you start installer <clears throat> you have uh, three choice if you want to quit you quit uh, you uh, if you want to create the USB installer or you if you want to using the pos installer for now I using the USB installer and I'll show you all process uh, on the video uh, how to using uh, the installer now you see Choose the disk to erase to install bootable OS 6 Yosemite Chameleon. Attention, the volume will be format as a single partition. Any data you have on the volume will be lost when it's created. Okay? Don't install this on your backup or uh, everything. I, I see, you see here, all my drive is here and uh, I don't I'm not worried about that because the installer it works perfect now I select USB it's USB I want to erase USB now I just click OK <coughs> you see it's uh, erase automatically now I eject the, the DMG and uh, when it's format the drive, the drive is, uh, is renamed installer automatically. You see here, OS6 Yosemite Chameleon. This is the installer, USB installer. And I click continue. And it's impossible to install on your main drive. I put the script inside the installer for... Uh, because people have mistake and he installed this on your main drive and he screw up your drive because it's Hackintosh man. This installer works on Mac, works on Hackintosh, but uh, people because the newbie uh, he don't know how to using the installer. That's why I'm installed the, the script and it's impossible to install on your main drive. So. <clears throat> so now I'm select installer <clears throat> and I start the process on my USB installer and I check the box okay and you see here installer I select chameleon and I want to install because I'm using a PC. If you're using like laptop, you select laptop. Now I'm installed. <coughs> That's it. And uh, the process is very fast. Uh, it's about, uh, with this drive, it's about three, four minutes. If you're using a normal USB drive, uh, eight gigabyte, because you need minimum eight gigabyte USB drive, 
if you're using uh, this kind of drive it's normal drive uh, Kingston or whatever it's at the time it's 20 minutes about 20 minutes so be patient <coughs> So uh, the, the process is almost finished. The drive is, uh, is complete uh, very soon. <laughs> okay, uh, uh, today uh, I present you this installer. It's the it's best uh, version of the, the installer because I'm completely uh, rebuilt the installer. <coughs> This installer uh, is works very, very good, guys. And uh, this is for uh, Akintosh with the, 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 um, the configurations not too, too uh, compatible because it's Chameleon, it's a legacy bootloader and he works with uh, a lot of configuration. This is complete, I, s I show you here. The Chameleon install log. It's a Chameleon R2570 and uh, nothing caused any problem. Nothing uh, found that caused any problem. The, insta the installation is complete. You see here you have uh, all folder uh, for uh, bootable your installation. Me, I select PC, so I am the Mac Pro 3.1. It's the best for uh, booting uh, USB installation with Chameleon. For the POS installation, now I show you how to using the POS installer. Now you just reboot with this drive, install OS 6, and now you need to copy this on your installer you click here, you copy the DMG, and uh, when you're on desktop, you are installed OS X, you're on desktop, you just restart the DMG, and uh, restart, put it on your application, go on security, same thing, uh, and I show you how uh, to using. Now, you go to application, and you restart the installer and you select only POS installer. You see? Now you don't need to format anything. <laughs> you just install the POS installation. You go to, you click continue and you select the drive you want to install on your new drive. The, the, now the name is uh, Hackintosh HD and I select continue you click personalization menu you open the box you select chameleon for bootable system if you add a low graphic card you select graphic enabler yes or if you have laptop with gra uh, graphic enabler yes if you have a big card uh, yeah. like uh, nvidia uh, 640 or nvidia uh, 760 you don't select graphic enabler yes you you select the app is uh, create uh, on your desktop uh, folder app with uh, lots of app you know and you if you want to using this uh, this is the on the folder app it has chameleon wizard uh, kex wizard uh, it's a lot of thing uh, like that and now you just uh, open this menu you select your audio me uh, for me it's a uh, ASC 9898 uh, I'm select the anti pop this is the anti pop uh, it's uh, for some uh, gigabyte uh, motherboard you have the popping sound I'm include uh, the anti pop on this version of the installer now you select your network for me it's a uh, Intel gigabyte Ethernet this kex is a uh, Apple Intel E1000. Now you need to select uh, the other option. The fake SMC it's a mandatory kex. You need to always select this kex. If you don't want uh, the HW monitor, you just select this one. 
or if you want to uh, the the fake SMC with the plugin, you select the fake SMC with the plugin, and on the folder app you have the HW monitor. You just drag and drop on your application, and you have that like this. You see, this is the HW monitor on my application. It's work with the plugin fake SMC. Now that's it, guys. You select this option for my configuration and I, after when you select that you just reboot after the reboot you go to application utility disk utility and you repair the permission of your drive or if you using Kex wizard on the apps folder <coughs> you start Kex wizard and you click maintenance and you uh, select repair permission and uh, rebuild the cache and you execute like this and you reboot again because sometimes you need to uh, two time uh, using Kex wizard on my pos installer he has the the repair permission and the rebuild cache but uh, sometimes this uh, the, the configuration depends your configuration you need to repair and rebuild the cache again so i hope you uh, great i can touch for you guys and uh, enjoy and uh, my name is chris and uh, that's it guys next time bye bye